I'm going to solve the or find out the potential of a concentric spherical capacitor using a Laplace equation means this is the application of a Laplace equation we know del square V equals to 0 where del is the operator and V is the potential so if we make uh, a spherical capacitor by using two concentric sphere one is radius A and outer sphere is radius B and if we uh, ground and the outer sphere with that is B equals to 0 and if we give a potential V equals to VA to a inner sphere then this system makes a capacitor so we are just going to find the potential distribution uh, due to this system or due to this spherical uh, capacitive system using Laplace equation so this is a one dimensional problem because we are interested in along r direction there are theta phi direction is a constant potential so just potential vary only with respect to r so we have taken del square in spherical coordinate in, and in one dimension is 1 by r square del del r r square del v del r equals to 0 just we have to solve it and uh, using the boundary condition uh, we have to find the potential so boundary condition is boundary condition condition is at r equals to b that is bound at boundary b equals to 0 is grounded and at r equals to a a potential is given so v equals to va so just solve we have to solve it that is del del r r square del v del r equals to 0 implies r square del v del r equals to 0 this means del v sorry this is not 0 this is c a constant this is c so del v equals to c del r by r square at this case v equals to minus c by r plus another constant d so just we have to use the boundary condition so this is the boundary condition 1 this is boundary condition 2 using boundary condition 1 v is 0 so 0 equals to minus c by b plus d this implies d equals to c by b so our equation go to simplify v equals to minus c by r plus t equals to c by b we can take common c that is 1 by r minus 1 by r plus 1 by b that is c 1 by b minus 1 by r again we have to use the second boundary condition that is at r equals to a at r equals to a b equals to b a this means b a equals to c 1 by b minus 1 by r equals to a or a this implies c equals to b a by 1 by b minus 1 by a so just putting the value So just putting the value of C we get V equals to plus C 
into 1 by b minus 1 by r that is putting the value of c you get b a by 1 by b minus 1 by a into 1 by b minus 1 by r this is our Thank you.